This has been an amazing year with so many moments that have happened, not the least of which was your big moment at the first debate. Can, what are the memorable moments for you for this campaign? Well, that certainly kicked things <laughs> off with a bang for me, um, and that, that'll be a moment I never forget. I just think that that was a question that needed to be asked. It was very clear to me that it was the question nobody was asking, but that would hang around Trump's neck like an albatross throughout the campaign once people got a closer look at him, uh, and that is his treatment of women. And sure enough, it has been. You know, yeah. and as we are, as we sit here, hours out from the election, his his struggles with women continue to dog him, and we'll see how it plays on Tuesday night for him. The societal takeaway for me, if this past year has been, you know, we've come a long way, baby. We have a long way to go, baby. Yeah, a long way to maybe go. Maybe longer than a lot of people thought. Yeah. Ask about some individuals and some institutions. You tell me, did they have a good cycle? Equip themselves well or a bad cycle? Okay. If you want to entertain a little bit, we're, we're going back can. like a year now. We're doing yeah, the, the whole, whole cycle, election. Whole cycle. Okay. okay. Um, Kellyanne Conway. Good. Quit herself well. Yeah, I think so. Donald Trump. You know, that's in the eye of the beholder because half of the country freaking loves the guy and he's greatly improved his brand with them. And the other half, who may have thought he was an entertaining celebrity apprentice host, now thinks he's, you know, a sexual molester, misogynist, racist. You know, those people are not going to be persuaded over the Trump brand. You forgot Mussolini. Yeah, there you yeah. go. So it's I, on net, you know, the, the net benefit or positive. No idea. All right, Megan Kelly. It's been rough at times. It hasn't been all, you know, rainbows and, and unicorns for me. But on balance, I've, I've been brought closer to my husband. I've been brought closer to my friends, closer to my team here at Fox News. And I think any challenge or any adversity serves the opportunity of reminding you who you are. And I've been reminded of that in spades. Overall, a pretty entertaining year. Uh, and good year for Fox and for Megyn Kelly, though, right, overall? You know what? I'm feeling pretty good, but you can't really go by me because I don't judge myself by my professional success or happiness. I judge myself by my connection with my kids and my husband and my friends. And I don't really have any friends anymore because I've worked too, too hard for too long. So I'm failing there. I, maybe you can relate. You guys seem to get along with each other. Is it just down to the three of you now? We're all under contract. We got no choice. There you go, right. Um, I do feel like both the highs and the lows of the year for me personally have brought me closer to the people who really matter to me. How's the future look for Megan Kelly? So bright you got to wear so shades. So take care. Thanks for coming. It looks good. Good luck.